Daniel Gallagher, how are you? Very well, how are you? I'm very, very well. What do you think of this record? It's not the best. Really? No. I, I enjoy it's it. It's amazing. Oh, okay, I see what you One did. The best records ever. <laughs> Better than the first one? Um, I'd say it's easily, it's equal. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure whether it's better or not, but uh, easily it's equal. You produced this one all by I yourself. Did, which pretty much makes it better. But that's kind of what I thought. Like yeah, I thought, yeah, you know, yeah. more Noel Gallagher, less everybody else. Yeah, well, okay, okay. Yeah. Then we're gonna, yeah, okay, yeah. We'll, give it, we'll, we'll give that one the edge. Yeah, okay, nice. It was uh, producing, uh, you know, how was that? Just doing it by yourself. Like, can you go in looser? Do you have to be way more prepared? No, I, I was... Uh, I guess because I write all the songs and all that, it was quicker in a way. I spent uh, less time on this record than I did on the previous one. I guess producers want to um, make you feel like they're earning the quarter of a million dollars they're taking off your children's school fees, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Uh, but um, I don't really, I didn't really spend a great deal of time on it. When it's done, it's done, isn't it? Yeah. If I was just going solo for the sake of it, do you know what I mean? And like. I'll, well, I'll just write some songs. It wasn't like that, you know what I mean? I've been composing songs for the best part of 25 years now, and it's what I do. And if the songs on the first album, I didn't think they were very good, I wouldn't have bothered, do you know what I mean? I wouldn't mm -hmm. just go and be on tour for the sake of it. But is it any better or worse? I don't think you can compare the two. Oasis eventually took on a life of its own and became an institution. And uh, this is just different, you know, smaller. It's like if Oasis was a huge cruise liner, what I do now is a really <laughs> cool speedboat. <laughs> what do you think of the uh, state of rock and roll these days? Uh, it's, it's now termed modern rock, isn't it? It is. The most disgraceful term since jazz blues. Or blues jazz, <laughs> even. Or jazz funk, even. <laughs> rock and roll is disappearing along with rock and roll styles. It seems to be everybody is concerned about their career and because things like this go all over the world on the internet, it's like one, one wrong thing said about one wrong subject. I'm afraid, for me, I just don't care about things like that. I, um, we have a term in England, you know, I don't know whether you're familiar with it, and it goes something like, a spade is a spade. You know what I mean? It's like you tell it like it is. Rock music and the music game now is all about careerism and about, they should rename the music business the record selling industry, is what it is. The music, the music business died about a decade ago, I think. Uh, memories of Toronto, I mean, I know there's some I'm not just, so great ones. Yeah, I was just thinking last night, the first time I ever came to Toronto when, when I was a roadie in 1989, uh, I remember it being really, really, really hot. And then every time I came here after that, up until yesterday, it was about minus 106, <laughs> and uh, but I do like I do like Canada. It's kind of got an uh, 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 an English flavour to it. You know what I mean? There's some things look very familiar, and uh, the Canadian fans have always always been very very good to Oasis and continue to be to me. And my songs seem to resonate with people in this part of the world, and that's a that's a great thing. But uh, the weather, you need to f***ing sort that I, shit out, man. You, you got here right like f a off. week ago. It was like minus like I 20. I seen a f***ing polar bear once on this main street like that. <laughs> yeah. Fucking shiver, shivering. Absolutely man. So we did a gig here once where all the world well, we went to cancel the gig because the equipment froze in the back of a lorry. It froze. <laughs> and I remember phoning home and just thinking, did it say to my missus, do you think they know of a place called California, these people? <laughs> I mean, no wonder Neil Young f***ing moved. <laughs> oh, he got out of here in a hurry. Right, <laughs> f***ing hell. You are, uh, you're the king, my <laughs> friends. You're the king. <laughs>